now available paperback and e-readers, Isis, Ride of Dragon. God is Next Door and John Haynes team up to take on the Dark Vampire in this action-packed Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Ride of Dracula in paperback and e-reader than online booksellers today. I was watching some Diversity in Comics and Captain Cummings videos and they were talking about Mark Wade and the issues he's been having on his runs and they were reviewing some of his comics and they were saying that he seems like he's lazy and his work just seems like it's just not there. And as a writer myself, I understand what's going on because as I looked at their videos and I looked at the stories they were talking about, I clearly saw a case of writer burnout. What is writer burnout? A writer burnout is when a writer is just not producing quality stories because they're either tired or they have just taken on too many projects and their imagination just doesn't is, doesn't feel as inspired to go out here and craft a very solid story so they're not there with their passion they're not there with their creativity they're not there with their imagination and instead of giving us a story that has that energy that in that heart and makes you feel compelled to read it from beginning to middle to end what they do is produce very flat, uninspired work that is just going through the motions, but it has no spark that grabs the reader, no spark that compels the reader to continue reading more, and it's just not inspired enough to make you feel like this story is important enough to care about. Because when it comes down to writing, the writer has to care about the story in order for the reader to care about reading it. If I don't care when I'm writing the story, then the reader is not going to care when they go and pick up the book. And that is what something that is conveyed on the page of a writer who is burnt out. You clearly see that this writer just doesn't care anymore and it doesn't really matter to them. So they're not really focused on important things such as the structure of the plot, the characters that they are using, the way the characters are communicating with each other, how the characters are developed, how the storyline goes, how the plot points go, or how the story reaches a conclusion in a satisfying manner. None of these things really matter to a writer who is burnt out because when it comes down to a writer who is burnt out, they are just going through the motions, hoping to just finish these stories and then just move on to the next project. And that's one of the worst things a writer could go out here and do is continue to keep writing when they're just not into it. When you're just not into writing a story, then all you're going to do is continue to produce a lot of uninspired stories. And I've seen a lot of writers, they think that they can write their way out of that, but it's just not possible because if you're not feeling the story, if you're not excited about the story, Again, the reader is going to see that on the page and they're going to feel it in between the lines of the story. And because they are feeling it in between the lines of the story, then they're going to feel like they have no reason to go and continue reading this story and they have no reason to go out here and buy this book. And when you're dealing with writer burnout, there's only one real solution for writer burnout, and that is you just have to take a rest because sometimes you need to take a break away from the keyboard so that you can rejuvenate your imagination, get some new ideas, go outside and just see new things, see new people and draw inspiration from that because when it comes down to a writer you often spend a lot of time in front of a keyboard and that's time away from the world and sometimes when, when a writer is burnt out they have become so disconnected from the world that, excuse me, they don't understand that the stories you're producing, they, they may, they just, they're just by the numbers. And in order for you to create a great story, you have to really sometimes just take that moment away from the keyboard to breathe. And then you can get your spark back, get your inspiration back and get your creativity back. And when I look at a lot of comic book writers like your Mark Wade right now, I can clearly see that case of writer burnout because he's taken on 
quite a few projects over the last couple of months, like the run on Archie that he started, and then he walked right into Avengers and the Champions, and that's a lot of projects to take on in the course of a year. That's a lot of scripts to produce in the course of a year. I'm a guy who works four, five, six projects in a year, and I know how much work that is, and to work on three comic books and have to do like 36 issues in that time, that's a lot of projects to take on, and that can, that can burn out your imagination. And when you have a writer who's burnt out, that's when they start getting tired, and that's when they start producing very uninspired stories by the number stories, because they are, in some cases, just tired of working with these characters, and they want to do something else, but they, in some cases they just feel that if they don't finish what they're doing, that they're, gonna do, they, they're, they're not going to be able to finish. But sometimes you just have to stop and take that moment to breathe, because you're just tired. And the, the, the whole thing with writer burnout is, if you keep working, you're going to burn yourself out even worse, just like I saw with Chris Claremont in the late 80s. Now, Chris Claremont was the celebrated writer of Marvel's X-Men, and during the 70s, when he started out, he produced some great stories, like the creation of Alpha Flight, like the Dark Phoenix Saga, and like several confrontations with Magneto, which are considered classics. And towards the end of his run, towards the late 80s, we started to see Chris Claremont starting to burn out. And I started to see it as far back as 88, 89 with um, The Inferno and the meandering plots that related to Madeline Pryor and some of the plots related to the Reavers storyline. The Reavers storyline was where we really saw where Chris Claremont's writer burnout was starting to happen because the Reavers storyline, it just, it didn't really come together in an organic fashion. A lot, of the, a lot of the plot points were uneven, a lot of the character development, what really wasn't there, and the story never really came together. And everything led up to, that led up to the X-Men number one that was released, I think, in 90 or 91, that was showing us that Claremont was really, he was starting to get tired, and he was starting to get burnt out, because he was, as I saw it back then, just tired of working with these characters. He had worked with them, for almost 20 years, and he just his imagination ran out of ideas for writing these stories, and that's what happens to a writer when they're burnt out. Their imagination just runs out of ideas for working with that character, and sometimes a writer has to just take a break from that character, or just from writing for a while, to get inspired again. Because I remember one time when I was starting to work on the ISIS series, I had to do this federal jury duty, and that was one of the best things that could happen to me, because I was trying to do the story, Isis the Beauty Myth, and it just wasn't coming together, and if it wasn't for that jury duty, I wouldn't have been gotten that time away from the computer to get inspired to write that story, because when I left to do the jury duty, I was sitting in the room, and that's when I got the inspiration to come back to the keyboard and write the story, and it was one of the um, most acclaimed stories in the ISIS series and is considered one of the best stories in the ISIS series. So I understand what writer burnout is and I've seen it and as a craftsperson I understand that when a writer is burnt out the worst thing they could do is continue to try to write through it because you're not gonna write through it. Sometimes you just have to take a rest because that's your body and your mind saying that they they need a minute to breathe they, they've had enough, and what, they, and what the body needs to do, even the brain, it just needs a rest, because you're imagining situations with these characters in your mind almost every day when you're writing fantasy and science fiction, and that takes a toll on a, on, on a mind when you're just constantly imagining things and trying to find a way to get to the beginning, the middle, and the end, and when you're when you've done it for so long, it becomes sometimes like a mechanical process for some people, and sometimes it becomes a bit of a struggle because you're just tired of doing it every day, and that's how a writer gets burnt out, and that's how they, they, they that's why they don't start producing quality work, because what we're seeing with Mark Wade right now is what I saw with Chris Claremont, and the again, the only solution 
for dealing with writer burnout is for the writer to take a rest because once they take that rest they can get themselves together think about what they want to do think about how they want to write things think about what direction they want to do things and sometimes taking that moment away from the keyboard can be the best thing to ever happen to a writer because once you take that break away then you can take a look at things from the distance and see where you're going wrong or see where things are or are, are, are aren't working and then what you can do is then you can make adjustments to a story you were working on or you can just go out here and craft something that's really incredible because there is a way out of writer burnout but that all requires a writer to take that moment and step away from the keyboard because once you step away from the keyboard that's when your inspiration and your imagination can sometimes really spark and you can create get that passion and that heart back and then and then once you get that passion and that heart back you can come back and write some stories that you care about and that the readers will come to care about and even love if you'd like to try some of the Isis series stories like Isis the Beauty Myth, you can click the link to Amazon.com in the description box. And if you'd like to help me get the SJS Direct 2017 catalog out that's been delayed, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to help me make more videos, you can also donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.